ukulele with Kabila Cabello and Senorita. Uh, right then, we have been celebrating everything about the ukulele on the show this week. And that is because this coming Sunday, 2nd of February, it is World Ukulele Day. And in celebration, there is a big old event happening in Liverpool City Centre. The whole place is going to come alive to the sounds of over 200 ukuleles. It is going to be taking over the whole day uh, all around uh, the city centre. And not only celebrating World Ukulele Day as well, but also raising money for such a fantastic cause. Clatterbridge Cancer Centre and I'm very pleased to say that we've got some live music on the show now we have been joined by the fabulous cat people hello hello hi. and also to tell us all about World Ukulele Day we've got Peter Norman in with us as well hello Pete hi, hi Jan. Um, let's start with you then um, because World Ukulele Day yeah. uh, it's uh, been going for quite a while but this is the second time that Liverpool's taken part yeah yeah how uh, did that happen well, I think it started in 2011 um, it happened here Basically, I saw I, I started playing the ukulele about ten years ago. You're in Splinter Juice. I'm in Splinter Juice, yeah. yeah. Um, so I was in Liverpool Ukulele Orchestra at that time. That, that's that's where we met. Um, and I was in town, and the World Ukulele Orchestra were basically busking around pubs, uh, raising money uh, for charity. And I, I just I love that idea. They just basically hit and run at each pub, come mm-hmm. in, played a load of songs. People put money in, and they left. You'd and love we just it, thought, wouldn't you, let's if you were do sat that. in a boozer. Yeah, and just, yeah. All yeah. these people turned up suddenly with ukuleles. Yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd love that. So that, that was the plan. We thought we'll do that, and we'll just we'll get more bands. So we'll just have bands on rotation doing that. Um, but then we thought we've actually to do that. You've actually got to get people to go in all to, to the pubs and so on and so forth. And we were doing it at the last minute. So we thought let's take it out even mm-hmm. better. Let's actually go out onto the street and. And, and play. Um, winter, yeah. yeah, in the middle of winter. <laughs> so, on World Ukulele Day. Madness. And, and I uh, mean, I, I came down uh, last year for it and I saw it with my own eyes. But for people who weren't there, what was the response from people you know, shopping around? Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. We, we, I mean, we ended up with two outdoor stages with PA systems and we had another five locations of people busking and we had uh, indoors at the beer keller. And we collected on that day £3,032. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it was, and was uh, it Clatterbridge last year? Clatterbridge last year. As well. Yeah, and so yeah. that, that's who everybody is going to be out and raising yeah, funds for yeah. this year um, so we've got loads of volunteers have come in you know to uh to do the collection and we put a shout out for bands and 28 bands we've got and that's 250 musicians wow. so yeah, yeah i've been looking through as well some of the names that people come up for for the bands as well <laughs> absolutely brilliant aren't they yeah. um but uh, world ukulele day i mean it actually started a few years ago but i uh, was talking with the two of us we had in on monday yeah, that yeah. i think this explosion in the love of ukulele music and people getting into it probably about five five years old maybe a little bit longer now probably longer i, th- I think because 10 years ago is when I started right. with, with Liverpool yeah. Ukulele Orchestra. I think Elaine's been... eight years ago. Eight like years we, ago. We're all music leaders from Ukulele Club yeah. Liverpool, so we've, been, sorry, we've yeah. been kind of teaching people to play the ukulele for eight years. Wow. So I think half of the people at Wales Ukulele last year have probably joined the club since then, <laughs> know all the people watching, so we've had a, a good S- turn So you'll year. know then as a teacher, I yeah. mean, it seems to have just gone through the roof with people wanting to come along and learn. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when I started, you couldn't even buy a ukulele in Liverpool. I had to go to Warrington, to Dawson's in Warrington to get my first uke. A uke what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think as the years have gone by, like it's, it's just it's getting ridiculous now. You know, you can buy ukuleles for over $10,000 yeah. from Hawaii and Mm-hmm. And I think as well, I mean, obviously, you know, I think maybe the the reason why so many people get into it is because it's known as being quite an easy, it's quite mm-hmm. a simple, it's, a, it's an all right to want to get started, not like learning harpsichord or something <laughs> yeah, like that to yeah, kick off yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then when you really get into it, I mean, like, there's like bass, yeah, like ukuleles, these the most beautiful, like different ones, like like yeah. tenor ukuleles, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but how did you guys first get together as, as cat people then? Were you separate, obviously separate? separate musicians first yeah yeah i mean I've, we've played probably in different bands before this so. yeah so i joined ukulele club back in 2013 and then so i'd not really played in this room before but like you said with you you see yourself making progress really quickly um and the social side was brilliant and that and then after after a few years started writing a few songs and stuff so I said how do you fancy like you know being in a band and stuff and Daniel was at U Club as well so mm-hmm. um, we also sort of just got together that way just over a year ago yeah so. and because uh, uh, another thing that connects people when they come to learn the ukulele is a lot of the songs are well known because a lot of the places you know it's fun to do the covers like yeah. the rock covers yeah. Yeah. and do them with the ukuleles three core covers go <laughs> down yeah. well yeah. but you guys have, have, you know you, you do your own stuff and you're going to do a couple of your own tunes yeah. for yeah. us so we'll find out a bit more about then in a little sec but what tune are you going to do for us first um, this song's called Slide and it's one of our, our own. We do a few covers as well, maybe we do a set, but this is one of our own, it's called Slide.
Like a proper like 1920s, uh, 30s jug band vibe going on. Um, so when did you go from, you know, did you join a ukulele club? For, yeah, you said yeah. you joined a ukulele club at first. When did you decide to get together and think, you know what, we could actually be a band together and we could do this? It was just over a year ago, wasn't yeah, it? We yeah, were, um, I think we, we'd been out to a ukulele gig that we did at the Brink mm-hmm. and um, we, we went to the karaoke on Renshaw Street, oh, the yeah, Chinese yeah. karaoke. Okay. And um, yeah, we, we did a couple of songs in there and then... With we, the ukuleles? Uh, well, no, ju- outside, we ended up busking very um, <laughs> early in the morning. Yeah, and, uh, and an impromptu busk, yeah. I think it was George Michael, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. we well, did a bit of faith. And so had you been writing songs before that then? Yeah, so I wrote like for a few years and stuff because I'd never really performed or anything like that but that's another like another brilliant thing about the ukulele it really gave me that confidence to perform and sing and develop my love of all that and then I started writing a bit I moved abroad for a bit and I used to write songs and sort of perform them when I was there but I always envisioned it to be more than just me and my ukulele I wanted it to be like a band and stuff so then so you know, baritone and, and a bass, yeah. <laughs> and, a bass now, yeah. and, and you hit upon that idea of the social aspect of it because there's there's one thing to uh, for people who you know obviously want to learn a musical instrument and they want to take up a new hobby but then that community spirit seems to be really strong amongst uh, amongst the groups and like intergroup it's absolutely yeah, amazing as well. I've, I've yeah. never experienced anything like this I know football and stuff you know you've got like a good thing going on but the ukulele <laughs> community is just like out of this world and it's it's not just kind of it's international as well so we've got like we know people over in Australia who form groups over there so we're kind of all connected and it's, it's yeah. absolutely brilliant. We, we played in Barcelona in 2017, so we went over, yeah. um, us and the um, Secret Ukulele Band went wow. over and played at their festival, you know. Yeah, we, so it's just, we went yeah, over to Sweden They've been over again. here, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, we went to Sweden. The ukulele off, got invited to play at the World Ukulele Guinness Records attempt over there, so... That was interesting, something we'd never yeah. have done before. And, so. and ukulele offers playing as well, isn't he? He's on yeah, this um, he's, Sunday yes, in the night yeah. time about half past six. Half so, six the break, um, yeah. I think he's been in with us ages and ages ago, not been in with, but he, I mean, he is a sight Just to be seen yeah. on the yeah. ukulele, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Not, I think he's on after us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He sometimes <laughs> comes into the club and does advanced training, so yeah. he, he, he kind of shows us his technique. He's like yeah. super yeah. advanced to see him. I can't be Everyone gives up after they do his class. Well, Pete, tell us about some of the people that you've got um, coming on. We want to give a special shout out as well uh, to Callum. Callum's Callum must be the youngest, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think we range from something like uh, probably 10. I think Callum's about 10. Yeah. Um, up to 70, older. Yeah. Um, 82. 82, right, okay. 82. That's right, it. another right. thing as well, like the age range is yeah. just completely... Just the diversity in yeah. the groups. It's, yeah. it's amazing, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, we've got bands from all over the city, really. We've got... Um, if, if, I mean, from Crosby, we've got the Secrets, we've got the Travelling Wannabes, Mad Dukes are coming, uh, Northern Dukes from McGull. Um, the, um, and where are they going to be? So there's some, like the, the Steps by John Lewis. Yeah, as Steps from down, John Lewis, dog, North, North John Street, yeah. uh, Waterstones, yeah. um, and the Beer Keller, and uh, Paradise, Paradise Street as well. And Paradise yeah, Street as well, yeah. and just people can come in, mill, mill about, yeah, yeah. and you're, you're going to see. Essentially, we've all got busking, busking slots. Uh, the two biggest stages are uh, John Lewis, and South John Street, and, that, and we've got PA systems there. And that's where at three o'clock. 
Uh, up beyond those steps, we've got the mega bus. The mega bus at three o'clock on yeah, Sunday. We all close down and all go to there. And oh, uh, so yeah, we're going to do three songs. Well, you guys... And, and uh, Jen, anyone can come along and join yeah, us. Yeah, that's it. Songbooks are on the internet. And if yeah. you've been sat at home learning on YouTube the old ukulele tunes, come down. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Are we going to do another tune for us as well? Yeah. What are you going to yeah. do? And this one's called Doss About Blues. So it started off as a bit of a mess about, we were just messing about with the 12 bar blues. And we actually thought, oh, this is great. We thought we quite like this. So it's be about being fed up, about dossing about and wanting to settle somewhere. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's a true blues. story about Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> Cat people in with us this afternoon. I've just realised we're not giving you full names as well. We've had Gemma Doherty, Elaine Kinsella, and Daniel Morana in with us. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks tunes. very much. Um, and also Pete Norman as well from Splinter Duke Ukes and uh, one of the guys who's organising it. So if people want to get involved, if they want to download the songbook, yeah. um, where can they need? Where do they need to go? Where can they find all that stuff? The songbook is at www.ukuleleclub.org.uk. Uh, and you'll find the song booth there for the three songs that we're doing the mega bus but we're also doing a sing along in the beer keller we're in the big room in the beer keller wow. at half five um if you can't download it come down we're gonna have all the the lyrics and the chords on on the oh, big screen fab. there and everyone's gonna play we're gonna do half an hour there um there's a couple of video tutorials on the website as well as so well, if people yeah. want to practice beforehand brilliant yeah, yeah. Um, and if you if you're out there and you've always thought oh, i'd love to give something a little try i think that's the thing down. i mean lo lots of people must have a ukulele now after christmas yeah. and mm. they're at home playing three or four chords over and over again it doesn't really sound anything but if you go to a club Come or out. you go to more edge and say on a thursday night uh, or stamps in Crosby, you'll join a band and someone will start singing and it becomes a song then. And, and then, then before you know it, you're singing. Else. And, you know, Gem is an example. Yeah. Really, you go along and before you know it, you're writing your own Got songs your own and band. performing it. Mm. It's, yeah, yeah. Fab. Yeah, well, thank great. you so much for coming in with us this afternoon, guys. Oh, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 